Well, good afternoon, everybody. As I promised, and I'm actually so proud of myself because I've been sticking to my plan and uploading a video every day. Today's video, Arts and Craft uh, activity I'm gonna show you is how to make a airplane out of a clothespin and some colored, or you could paint them, wooden sticks and also make it also like a little refrigerator magnet, a little magnetic strip. I saw these on the internet and they're so cute and easy to do. And believe it or not, well, <laughs> I have all this excess stuff hanging, just laying around my house. I didn't have to go buy anything. But what you wanna do is you get some clothes pens, um, plain ones, and you paint them. And then you can have, paint the uh, wooden ones or you can actually buy them already painted. So right here at about the midpoint, once you painted it, the clothes pin and let it dry, right about here, we'll put a little bit of glue, hot glue, or you can use Elmer's glue. It just takes a little more time to dry. And you wanna put the top piece on and you actually want to center it as much as you can. So there, there's your top piece as you can see. Then you're gonna put one on the bottom. So once again, you need a little glue. And sorry, I'm using my ugly glue gun today because I can't seem to find my cute one. That's what happens when you clean up all your stuff, your mess. Okay, so as you can see, now you have the wings, the front part of your clothespin uh, done. Um, and actually in doing this activity, I know I typically do little girl activities, but everybody always asks me about, you know, doing activities for boys. And it's really hard to find very simple, basic arts and crafts for boys. Okay, but I'm trying. So now you take another clothespin, uh, excuse me, wooden popsicle stick. We'll put a little bit of glue. If you see most clothespins have little ridges right here. So we'll put a little bit of glue right above that ridge. That seems to look right. And then just attach the back part. You still wanna kinda of line it up with uh, the front wings of your plane. And you can actually use, they have in the stores these shorter popsicle sticks. You could use those as well. And then for the, I guess they call this the, the rudder. I have no idea what they call this. But anyway, this part of the airplane you just take another popsicle stick and just let's hope this doesn't fly across the room and just cut a piece. And of course it flew across the room. Let's see if I can cut another one without having to go find that one. No, and I broke it. <laughs> this will happen. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut from the other side and hopefully it'll land right here so I don't have to go look for it. Okay, ta-da. So now you have your little back part. So I'm gonna put a little glue here, uh, your rudder or whatever they call it for an airplane. Like I said, I'm not an expert when it comes to boy uh, arts and crafts. So there's your little back rudder piece. Okay, is that gonna hold? Probably gotta give it a second to set. But that's essentially it. Now, the other thing you probably wanna do for your little uh, airplane is take a magnetic strip and just cut off a piece. This actually has a self-adhesive stick, but I actually cut a piece and um, hot glued it. Well, let me show you. Put that one there. So just take a short piece. Okay, I think I know how much big I wanna make that. And this won't fly across the room when I cut it. And you see this has the sticky back. So I'll tape. So I'll just peel that off somehow. Some way, and then can just stick it onto the back of the clothespin. But I'm a real stickler for making stuff and having it not fall totally apart. So I'll put a little bit of glue right there, the hot glue, and we will put the backs, this piece of magnet on here, and just press it down a little bit. And there we go. And now you have the cutest little airplane arts and crafts toy. These are so simple. I think you'll have fun with uh, young boy children uh, making arts and crafts. 
Um, but these can also be made for girls in different colors. Pink and purple, obviously, you know, are my favorite colors. So I hope you enjoy the day. I hope you feel free to post pictures of whatever you make on sugarplumdolls.com. And thanks for watching. And please, please, please subscribe. Zoom, zoom. Whatever airplanes do. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.